All right, y'all, quick video on changing the Isoflex grease. This is a 2009 800R, 50th anniversary edition. And I just took this off using the water trick. So if you don't know the water trick, you basically take this bolt out, which this whole unit sits right here. Take the bolt out, wrap it with a ton of Teflon tape. Like you need to go around probably like 30 times, add a nice layer of Teflon and then pour some water into the hole here and then thread the screw back in. Tighten it with your 21 millimeter. So that's what I did. It won't damage anything because that's just threads there. And it's actually, it never even touches this because it touches the threads inside that. There's two sets of threads. As, as soon as you tighten it enough, the whole thing pops off really nice and easy. So now I'm taking off these bits here. I already loosened all of them. And this is a T30. So T30 bit fits perfectly into those. And then I have a few adapters that go and make it possible for me to twist it with a ratchet without stripping anything. So got all those and let's see what's inside. Now we could take the cap off and then we're gonna take the seal out. Okay, so I helped it out a little bit with a screwdriver. Let's take it out, take a look. So that's how everything looks in there. Pretty gross, brown looking. And this is supposed to be white. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean all this up with the rag, make sure that's all cleaned out. I'm gonna try not to use any solvent. Just gonna try to do my best to clean it out by hand. And I'll check back in with you guys in a bit. All right, so the bottle looks like this and it's super pricey. So I wanna be careful not to like waste it. But what I'm going to do is I got these syringes on Amazon and they come with these needles. They're not too sharp. They're like super thick. I don't know how I can see that. But basically what I'm going to do is take off the top here, bring it into the syringe by pulling it without the needle first. You can see it's filled up like that. And we're good to go. All right, now here back at the bearing, could unscrew the screws. I just put them there so that I don't lose them. I'm gonna take the syringe and start getting it far back into there. Okay, so I've been packing it in from the very back and you can see that I even pushed some of the old oil or the old grease back to the front so you can see that, that brown coming out. And what I'm gonna do is go all around, I basically stuck it all the way past each of the ball bearings. And um, now that I can't really access this, I'm just gonna turn the engine over a little bit with the 22. In between each ball bearing, there's a little hole. And this needle is the perfect size for it. So it fits perfectly and I'm just pushing in between as many of these holes that I could find to try to get all that air out. So that way it's just grease. So now what I'm doing is I'm finishing off by squeezing the rest of the tube into this bearing here. And this 50 gram tube is basically just enough for one of these bearings. 